They're building a path into stable housing for those struggling to make ends meet in our increasingly impossible housing market. It's really create a, a space where people can go from surviving to thriving. They're called blockable homes. Prefabricated units that can be connected, even stacked like Legos to form communities. Blockables vary from studios to three bedrooms, and at a total cost of about $125,000, they run half of what traditional affordable housing costs. The company's Tim Miller sees them as a game changer. We have to attack this problem more quickly. And so doing prefabricated modular and manufactured housing delivered to site is how we believe we can scale to meet the, the, the challenge. This 260 square foot studio was the first of 60 units to be built right next door to Edmonds Lutheran Church. People would rent the homes based on their income. Residents would undergo state and federal background checks and built into the community would be services to help with jobs, education and parenting. This is not, it's not a homeless camp, it's not a shelter. Suzanne Sullivan of Compass Housing Alliance says nearby neighbors don't have anything to be worried about. These are people who are low wage earners. They may be exiting homelessness, um, they may also just not be able to afford housing in the immediate area and we want to prevent people from losing their housing and becoming homeless. Paul Allen is a key investor in the project and the company is trying to raise more money to complete it. But for now, the blockable pieces are falling into place, cementing a better future for those in need. In Edmonds, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. A community meeting to find out more about the project is scheduled for tomorrow night at 630 at Edmonds Lutheran Church.